you named one of the best drummers in the world. Mm-hmm. Does that make you scared? I don't. Do you get stage fright? Do you I yeah, I get all that. Like I get that? stage fright. I I can't. I can't. Um, I mean, I know that some people say that, but I I for of course I know for a fact that that's not the case. I mean, I've I've been doing this. This band is the only thing I've done for the last twenty two years. So I'm good at this. That doesn't mean that I'm I'm near nowhere near being any of the best drummers in the world. I'm the the best drummer in the world at playing Meshuga songs. I can agree with that. But how many this, how many drummers could play a Meshuga song? Oh, there's probably tons of them. I'm I'm sure. Five. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's there's plenty, but it's that's kind of not interesting. But to me, it's really hard for me to to uh, uh, I, I can't really. It's cool that people think that I am that you know drummer that they kind of they push me up there. But at the same time, I I I'd have to disagree. I just look around me at people, so many drummers that I know that are way better drummers than I am, but in their respective fields, you know. So it's all a matter of, of course, it's, you know, yeah, and a. Uh, a lot of the drummers that I know are a lot better than me at, at most things, like within what you can do on a drum set. Okay. Uh, like as far as playing different musical music styles and 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 being really good at a lot of different things, you know. And and um, so it's a matter of what is really a good, really good drummer, you know. I'm good at this one thing that I that I do, you know. So for me, it's it's uh, I can't really. I can't really agree with, with that, you know. You have to play live these days, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's changed drastically. Yeah, you can. S- dude, it's easy to see, you know, when a lot of bands in, like all the places, even for the fall now in Europe, you know, you got to be way earlier, you know, and get your holds on the venues and everything, because it's just uh, so much more, ba- so many more bands out touring. Uh, and it's, I mean, I guess to to a great extent because of the whole music industry, and it's harder to sell albums, so it's a little harder to get royalties, so you ha- and stuff like that. So you kind of, you know, you got to up your the, the amount or the percentage that you're out touring, you know, because that's kind of still where you can where you can um, gain some money, you know. Yeah. Do they make you <laughs> the record companies? Uh, you mean make us tour? Yeah, is it is it more of they a, don't really uh, have big, to. B- well, not you maybe, but yeah. You know, I mean, we kind of bands. want we have to tour. We want to tour because it's it's, it's it's the same thing for us as any other band. So um, our label doesn't have to convince us or tell us to no. tour. You know, we we know that we have we we know what we do. You know, but you have a really good uh, uh, really good relationship with Nuclear Blast, right? Yeah. You've Absolutely. Been with them for twenty years. Yeah. Or twenty-one years. Yeah. Did you make them, or did they make you? I would say neither. You okay. know, they they've uh, they've of course grown steadily, like just like we have since we started. But they've definitely grown exponentially bigger. You know, it started out as Marcus Steiger, pretty much. You know. Uh, printing shirts and and selling CDs out of his you know or, or vinyls out of his uh, parents' garage you know mm-hmm. and it's just a dri- very driven person you know and and to to what it is today uh, I, I would say it's probably the 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 biggest uh, non still I guess non major uh, label in the world but uh, if you look at the uh, the metal that, that's that's released all over now. They, they, I would say they definitely stand for the the biggest chunk of it, you know. Mm, yeah. So it's uh, and it's also, I mean, as far as a, our relationship with them, it, it's definitely changed, you know. I mean, in the in the '90s, especially early mid '90s, we always we were kind of always a little bit at a, at each other's throats, you know, because we didn't like how they worked, like how they did promo and stuff like that, and they they didn't understand us, and we didn't understand them. It was it was just mutually kind of a little weird, you know, but uh, of course with the with the years and 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 also maturity on our side, you know, because we were really young and eager, and you know we kind of wanted and expected more 
than, than we could actually get, you know, which is a good thing, of you course, you know, it's, you should always strive to, yeah. for more, but, but it was also uh, um, an immaturity thing and a, and a bit of naivety in, involved in that, you know, so, so, of course, over the years, you kind of learn not only how the how the scene works and releasing albums and going out touring and what it actually takes to start making money and how much you need to sell to kind of regain or recoup the money that you already loaned from the label, et cetera, et cetera. So there's so many things that you kind of, uh, you have to learn and kind of grow into. Speaking of love, marriage in Vegas? Yeah, yeah. How's that treating you? <laughs> very good, very good. It's absolutely great, you know. We'd, we'd been together already five years when we got married, or so we more than five years, five and a half years. Impulse. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't no, it wasn't one of those. You, you know, like, yeah. no, it, it wasn't the, the, the Britney Spears kind of deal. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't nothing like that. You know, we just never. We're not very. Um, uh, my wife and I. We're none of us are really old school in any way, and and. We're not religious, so we wouldn't, you know, church type wedding or stuff like that, and it just didn't, it didn't suit us, you know. And also, any kind of like big thing, we kind of pretty early on rejected the idea of doing something huge, you know, something like you spend a fortune of money on the one day, but it's for us, it's and never it's been about that. We want, we wanted to be married. We wanted, we didn't want to. It's not the, the actual day that matters, you know, that very day, not to us at least. It's what we want to do and what if we want to be married. It's not about spending 100,000 Swedish on that mm -mm. very day or several hundred like you know, a lot of Inviting people do. family and friends who you don't like just so they <laughs> won't be <laughs> mad don't at you. You don't have to invite people you don't <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. There's no rule like that. But, but of course, it's uh, uh, it was just something we felt like, you know, let's just make it a bit funny thing instead and cool. yeah we even had the, the whole you know Elvis Presley Elvis look alike and everything yeah of course <laughs> you gotta what would you um, what would you like to say to young metal bands what is the biggest lesson the biggest tip I, I don't need I yeah it's really like it's really it's really hard and it's really difficult now to when we signed with nuclear blast it was a completely different environment altogether and it's so much harder now to get a a contract and to get a decent contract because uh, that's something that the labels have to do as well they have to secure their income that's just natural so the deals look very different today i think as far as the little things that that the labels kind of uh may want a piece of the cake of as far as like merchandising and stuff like that you kind of so, so it's very hard for me to, to to sit there and say you know be be like that or do this yeah, or that because yeah. uh, we've never really been in that situation you yeah. know ourselves so so it's hard I mean the only thing I can say is just to, to believe in your own music and really just kind of go for it you know and really and don't give up you know yeah. get out on tours and and do a lot of things I mean up until early 2000s we never really made any money you know on anything a lot of the things were like tour support from the label or we we opened for other bands like you know machine head and slayer but they didn't really pay us anything it was all like promotional mm -hmm. uh, the promotional value that kind of you have to decide like oh okay yeah let's do it because it's you a good promotional thing yeah and then yeah and it's definitely been like that for us too so he's uh it's a it's an it's an an ongoing process that you gotta kind of be willing to to put in the time as well and the effort and even though you get I mean you gotta have a bit of you know those occasional strokes of luck as well you know and we have for sure you know over the years we, you know it, it doesn't matter how good you are you need you you still need a bit of luck as well as far as the choices that you make as a band but also like the kind of tours that you that have kind of fallen into our laps and so mm -hmm. on over the years so what is the biggest tour moment or a musical moment for you did you choose one yeah the, I, I think that will still be the tool, tool opening for tool in in the states in uh, in 2000 and 
well, we did two tours, 2001 and 2002, but the one in 2002 was longer and kind of bigger. And so that was really, you know, really cool. Not not just the fact that they that it's kind of packed arenas every day, but but as far as the band that you're out touring with and to be to be able to see that kind of band on a nightly basis is pretty is pretty cool. See them half naked in their pajamas. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. No. I've seen them all butt naked, of oh. course, you know. Yeah, that's the first thing you do. <laughs> you yeah, you, you say just hello. just get naked. Hey, hello. let's get naked, guys. We will play together. Yeah. Now we'll be naked. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of skin. <laughs> no. That's kind of the thing. So that's like the first night thing. That's the first nighter. You get to know each other. That's what you do. 